The start of today's episode is a bit of a strange one. I've been trying to help Scar here get his cat, Jelly. If you didn't know, Scar in real life has a cat called Jelly, and he won a competition to get that cat in Minecraft. Now, here's the thing. Beef has sent over a Jelly, but it's already tamed, and <laughs> I tried to help Scar out here by breeding one of my cats with the Jelly one, and now I have a Jelly. He needs his own cat to make this work. And look at him, look how sad he is. I'm gonna make him even more sad. Instead of jelly with a with a J, it's gonna be jelly with a G. Gelly. <laughs> okay, go, okay, come on, Scar. Let's go and get you. Let's 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 go get you a cat. Okay, so this is where I got my cats from. Maybe there's another cat for Scar right here. Is that a cat? Is this a cat? <gasps> I found a cat. I found one. I found one. I found one. <gasps> yes! Success! We've walked all the way here. The scar is playing it so safe. <laughs> he's he's literally walking, and this has been a mission to get this cat here. But we're almost there. <laughs> follow the fish. Come on, scar, follow the fish. I love the way that it just pops out the back of my head like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <look. laughs> there we go. Right, we're ready. Take the fish, Scar. Make it happen. And he... <laughs> he got the wrong... He got the wrong cat. <laughs> Try again. Try again. This has been... We're so close to the end now. This has been genuinely like an hour mission to get Scar a jelly. But this mission has been going on way longer than just today, but we've finally figured out how to do it. Come on, Scar. Yes? Yes? Come on. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> My mind is melting a little bit here. We've been standing here for about an hour getting the wrong cat. Come on, Scar. I did it once, and I got a jelly. <gasps> He's gone! <laughs> what is it with these cats and just... Out. He's gonna go get it. He's like, no, he's not getting away from me this time. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's happened. It's happened. Scar has finally got his jelly and it only took two hours. Oh my, it's my cat. It's my, it's my cat. <laughs> Okay, there's another jelly. It is! It's done! It's done! Woo! He did it! He did it! I could cry! Scar, I've got a gift for you. There you go. It's a name tag for jelly. Make it happen. Make it happen. This is a moment. Jelly! It's done! So now we have the real jelly. And the realer jelly. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go and work on my base. I've had a, I've had enough of cats for today. I have been mega ultra mega ultra busy in here. Now I haven't made any progress on the builds because that's what I want to do a little bit later on. What I've been doing is sorting out this. As everyone knows, villagers are kind of a nuisance. And I have moved all of them from over here to over here. Now this means I actually have a proper functioning trade hall. For those of you that don't know what that is, it means I can essentially get a lot of resources by spending time trading rather than collecting materials. Now some of the things that I can get, bricks, terracotta, polished diorite, golden carrots, in short, lots of things that I can put on the barge. Now, we actually started this project during a live stream 
earlier in the week. And that's kind of what this is for, because Ren and I did a charity stream for a charity called Africa SOS, and we very successfully raised way above... <laughs> Ren is stinky. We raised way above our target, a massive £80,000. So if you were watching, if you donated, thank you very, very much. That money is going to be put to some very good causes. But I will, for now, get rid of this. And the link to that live stream, if you want to watch it, will be in the description as it is now unlisted. And it gives you a quick idea of how much of a nuisance and how long things like that take. So now that this very lengthy task is out of the way, I want to completely transform this build. Now, I'm friends with someone called Pearlescent Moon, and I have a copy of this world on my uh, private server. And she was just messing around building some stuff, and she came up with an excellent design. And I've edited it a little bit, but for the most part, she helped me enormously and came up with some really cool ideas. So, we're gonna go into a time lapse, and we're going to completely transform this based on Pearlescent Moon's designs with a few, uh, with a few of my own little touches as well. Now, before we go into this time lapse, I just want to say thank you, Pearl. That was really cool. And if you want to see more of what Pearl can do in Minecraft, there will be a link to her channel in the description. She's almost at 100k. It would be really cool if you checked her out after this video. But anyway, let's head into a time lapse because I got so inspired and I really, really want to get this done. So, a few hours work. Let's go. It is complete, or at least as much as I want to do. I made this in four different building sessions to get this done. And my oh my, I really, really like this. So thank you, Pearlescent Moon, for helping me with some of the design parts. This is big. Is Scar here? Scar? The <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> How long have you been there? Hi, yeah. Hi yourself. Okay, so ignoring that, I am really, really happy with how this has come out. Please let me know in the comments what you think. I love the fact that I can fly around this. I really like the fact that this kind of makes up for the fact that we're underground. Like, the roof and stuff has been properly integrated. And so it kind of gets away with feeling like it's inside this part, even though it's not. Even though this will have like the technical farms and such, it kind of feels like you're going inside there anyway just because of the large pillars and the, the proper roof and stuff. And trust me, this is actually more space underground than I would have got to fit in this thing because of the really strange shape that it's become. Yeah, you see, I wouldn't have got on away with this quite as much. This room would not have been as grand in here at all. So, all in all, another chunk of the base done. I never really do interior, so that was a, a bit of a hurdle for me. My next task will probably be tackling this thing. 
the other half. We don't look at the back. I avoid the back. You this is probably one of the first times you get to see it um, in its entirety because I've been thoroughly, thoroughly avoiding it. But this is going to be a task that I definitely do a bit later on. Now that my item sorter is done, I'm going to, off camera, slowly start getting rid of all of these chests here because they are really starting to get out of hand. But I mean, that's just... Tidying up in Minecraft is very much like tidying up in real life. Really, really boring, and I don't want to do it. So even though I've got all the, the equipment in here to clean up my base, I still don't want to do it. I still don't want to do it. I cannot stop looking at this, by the way. I just think it looks absolutely amazing. One thing that I've been able to do is get myself lots of materials from these villagers, and I can use these to stock up the barge. All it takes is, well, a couple hours trading, get some emeralds, go over here and talk to Batman. I'm, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Uh, I think you mean G-Man. I then take my emeralds and then I buy terracotta or quartz or whatever I want to stock. Bricks is another thing that I want to stock. And I've been slowly putting together these bits of stock for the barge itself because uh, I've been getting some messages from the other hermit saying, Grian, you need more stock. So again, we're going to stock up some stuff at the shopping district. And while we're there, why don't we check up on the bar? Oh. Really? Man. I really need that last one. The competition is still there. False for mayor, mumbo for mayor. It looks like people are really starting to enter the race. Okay, well, can someone please tell me? How did he get up there? There's no portal here. How on earth did he get up there? I feel like we need to put some more Mumbo for Mayor signs up everywhere. And I definitely need to get to work on that headquarters. But the first thing we're going to do is stock this up. We got four boxes of sand, three boxes of gravel, and two boxes of golden carrots. And we got a bit of profit as well. So we'll pop the investment in the barrel there. And I will let everyone know that this is all stocked up and... I'm afraid I am now out of gravel and sand, so this will be the last stock for a little while until I can get back to the grind for those. Stupid phantoms? Yeah, that's what I thought. The redstone shop that used to be in front of the town hall is now the red zone over there. And if I'm not mistaken, B-dubs made that and it looks absolutely amazing. I Oh, I love that. That is the cutest little airship. I don't know how it's flying, but it's awesome. Oh, it's got little oh, it's got little hoppers. Very futuristic. That looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. The shopping district is getting improved every single day. But we still need a mayor. Someone who can be rid of the phantoms. And there truly is only one man for the job. At the end of last episode, we built up this tiny little island. And it's got the current mumbo jumbo for mayor. Headquarters, the tiny shack with nothing in it. So another thing that I definitely want to do today is to start building at least the first part of the Mumbo headquarters. And there's one thing is for sure, it's definitely not going to fit on this tiny island. So it may be on stilts, I'm not sure. I haven't really got a good idea. That's why I built this shack in the first place, but I think... Maybe if I just get into free flow, I could just go for it and see what happens. We only need to make one part of it. We can always make it bigger after. So let, let's at least get a meeting room ready for this because honestly, I think it's about time we told Mumbo that I'm, uh, I'm campaigning for him to be mayor. So let's get into it.
Have you ever seen the sun set over a mustache as magenta? No! <laughs> Ruined! Have you- <laughs> wait a minute. Have you ever seen the sun rise over a mustache before? <laughs> well, there it is. Mumbo headquarters. At least the start of it. I think my plan is to build based on our needs. So instead of building an enormous headquarters with loads of rooms that are just empty, I plan on making one room at a time. So what we need to begin with is a basic building and a meeting room. So that's exactly what I've done. And what's really funny, and I I'm pretty sure if I didn't say anything, I'd get a lot of comments about it anyway. I built this island to build it on, and then I made- <laughs> It barely even touches the island that I made for this specific purpose. This island has absolutely no purpose. I could have just had this straight out of the water. But because I, I thought of this, like, second compared to this, so... <sighs> Silly, really. Silly. But this might come in useful a little later on. Who knows? Let's go and take a little inside. Uh, let's go take a look inside. There's no entrance other than flying in on the landing pad that I've made here. There's like a balcony out on the ocean. It's, uh, I think it looks quite nice. But inside, we've got a very basic room inside Mumbo's moustache. We've got two chairs, one for me and one for the future mayor himself. And then we've got our campaign plan. Yeah, that's... That's kind of what I got for now. Mumbo for Mare poster. It took me a long time to make this, so we better get good use out of it. And then, of course, some small decorations either side, because without these decorations, without this, you would not be able to see anything. You can't differentiate. In fact, if I go in here, without any blocks in here, it's really difficult to tell where they are, because they just super blend in. And look, if I just get rid of the light, now normally you can see blocks, but look at that. It might as well be an infinity room because if look, I place a block suddenly it, <laughs> you can see where we are if I remove these Boom my, my it's so dark in here building with black concrete is actually really difficult just because it's hard to see where there is a gap there boom So the next thing to do is actually tell mumbo that we need to have a meeting he has no idea, of course, that we've even started a headquarters. I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know what Mumbo for Mayor is all about. I actually really like this. It's super simple, but it is it is what it is. This, <laughs> this is what it is. This building shows exactly what it is by being what it is. All right, let's go back to the base. Wait a second. What is this monstrosity of a shop? Welcome to the ugly torch. You, you got that right. <laughs> what is this? All products sell for redstone blocks. They're selling a decent amount of products. Ooh. There are some things in here that I could definitely get. Uh, looks like someone might have beaten me to it for the most part. But since I can trade for redstone blocks, that could be a really good investment. So now we gotta go and tell our moustached mare that it's meeting time. Ooh, halfway. You know, I'm, one day I'm just gonna wait here and just, and just get it. I have myself some signs. Oh my goodness. Mumbo's been making some crazy bit of his base. That's quite the contrast, I like it. But where do I leave the signs? There you go, there's, there's his bed, so why don't we just pop the signs right here. I wonder if he reads these in my voice. <laughs> Mayor Mumbo. Mumbo, I don't know if you know, but you are kind of being campaigned for by me to be mayor. I maybe should have told you about it, but it's too late now. I made a HQ and would like to have a meeting as soon as you can. Let me know and meet me at the familiarly... That's a hard word to say. Familiarly shaped building off the coast of the shopping district past the concrete shops g that should be clear enough for mumbo to find us when he's next online we'll meet up and we will discuss the very pressing matter of ruling the diamond throne hopefully with a mustache but unfortunately that is all we have time for today things have progressed a lot I have done an extreme amount of building, not just Mumbo's HQ, but also this, the interior of my base. And I'm kind of glad that I got it out the way earlier rather than later, because I usually ignore the interior until the very last second, but I think this has gone quite well, and I still want to know what you think in the comments. 
And also, I'd like to know what you think of the Mumbo HQ, because it's just the start, but it's going to get way bigger. So, thank you very much for watching, of course, and I shall see you in the next episode. And again, another thank you to everyone that donated to our charity livestream. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!